In the Spanish Civil War of 1936-39, to thousands of men and women from around the world joined the international brigades to defend Spain's elected government against a fascist-backed military revolt. General Franco eventually triumphed, but the international brigade set an example of anti-fascism and solidarity that continues to inspire people to this day. Two and a half thousand men and women from Britain and Ireland served in the brigades. More than 500 gave their lives. At home, a mass aid Spain movement helped Spanish refugees and sent food and medicine to Spain. This incredible story can be found in the archives of the Marx Memorial Library in London. Fascism was <laughs> was expanding, it was, it was seeking to take over the world. It was, so what was happening uh, in one country, they knew that other countries would soon be um, in, in the front line. Um, and, and if you were, had a kind of internationalist outlook, you, I think you were kind of more motivated um, to go and do something about that. The men and women who joined the international brigades came from more than 50 countries around the world. Many were drawn from communities with experience of discrimination and repression. They fully understood the special danger posed by fascist ideology. Among the volunteers from Britain and Ireland were more than 350 Jewish anti-fascists. Several had already taken to the streets to combat fascism and anti-Semitism at home. From 1934, um, Oswald Mosley's British Union of Fascists particularly targeted the East End of London where 60,000 Jews lived in one square mile. By 1936, the violence had, ha had increased a lot. The threat against the Jews was a daily threat, and it culminated in the Battle of Cable Street, uh, which was the day that he wanted to invade the Jewish areas, make a show of strength, march right through those Jewish areas. And there was massive resistance by Jewish and non-Jewish people. Charlie Goodman, who... Um, was 21 years old at the, at the time of the Battle of Cable Street. There were more than 80 people arrested, but a handful of them got custodial sentences. Uh, and he was in prison um, for, for three months. And he was determined, to, when he came out of prison, that he was going to continue the fight against fascism. And very quickly after he was released, he was off to Spain. Charlie Hutchinson, a mixed-race Londoner and chair of the Young Communist League's Fulham branch, served in Cordoba, Madrid, Teruel, Aragon and the Ebro. Interviewed in 1984, he explained, I'm half black. I grew up in the National Children's Home and Orphanage. Fascism meant hunger and war. Among the US volunteers, there were many African Americans, including the communist Oliver Law, commander of the Abraham Lincoln Battalion at the Battle of Brunette. Find out more about Charlie Goodman, Charlie Hutchinson, Oliver Law, and the others who supported the Spanish Republican cause in the Marx Memorial Library's archives. Help keep their memory alive by supporting the International Brigade Memorial Trust. No pasarán. They shall not pass. The air was ringing with the voices of Marcy, Dublin and Cologne. Down in the drill yards and the cafes, there was talk of a new world being born. A match is struck, a lamp throws its light, holding out against the